Hello everyone! Today we're going to prepare a traditional Hungarian meal which is called lecho. Basically lecho is um, it's a meal which is made of sausage and the different colors peppers uh, because this channel is, uh, is um, for all those who are interested in the Fit6 program and for a healthy lifestyle to give you some ideas how to prepare your meals. Instead of sausage which you cannot use on the um, Fit6 program, obviously, we're gonna use a chicken breast. So what do you need to prepare this meal? Basically, you will need the um, peppers. I got the one orange, one yellow and one red here. You can use it green as well. I didn't have any, so I couldn't use it. I had a one small yellow onion and one small red onion. A diced chicken breast, obviously, I have around one kilo here and I also had a few garlic of cloves I got a three and I have a courgette that I'm gonna use in my recipe as well uh, it's very low calories and it's very healthy so it's really good ingredients to use in your stews and I also got a tomato thin tomato you can use the thin tomato if you have them if you can find them good quality like without any different ingredients like salt or sugar and they should be fine uh, or you can always use a fresh tomato if you have them at home it's not a problem it may be it will be even better to be honest with you so what we're we gonna do in the big frying pan you need to heat all your olive and you're gonna put the chicken Rest on it. I made sure my oil is hot because I want to fry a chicken for a few minutes. And once the chicken will be fried, I will add the rest of the ingredients. So, as the chicken is almost done, you don't want to fry it completely, you just want to give it a this nice color. The next step is to add your onions. And we're going to fry this for another 2-3 minutes. adding crushed garlic try to add a little bit of oil oil make sure they will fry not boil so basically it's a good idea for a nice tasty meal which you can serve with bread you can serve it with rice with everything really and um, original version is kind of spicy you can use uh, fresh chili or powdered chili if you would like to make it more spicy i won't use it in my um, in my meal because i got a little sun and he doesn't really like anything too spicy okay so while all this frying together it's a good time to slice the zucchini about the vegetables, veggie size, um, vegetables, it's all up to you, obviously, if you want to keep them small or if you want uh, the pieces to be more chunky, it's whatever you prefer. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave some of them bigger and small of them smaller. It already smells lovely. Mm -hmm. Make me hungry. Mm -hmm. What else can I tell you? Like, let's say about the spices. What I'm gonna use, obviously, it will be salt and pepper. 
you can use, as I said before, something more spicy like chili powder or chili flakes. Uh, I'm gonna use a paprika as well. You can use sweet paprika or hot paprika, whatever you prefer. If you don't have a fresh garlic at home, you can always use the powder garlic. Okay, so this looks good to me. I'm just gonna show you what that looks like right now. Just like this. So the next step is to add peppers. And now we have to fry it for like three to five minutes. To stir occasionally, make sure it wasn't stick to the bottom of your pan. At this step, you can wait a little bit till the peppers is done, or you can just add the courgette straight away, which I'm gonna do now. Remember that courgette leaf need uh, a little bit less time to get soft and nice than pepper. And now let it fry everything for a few minutes. My portion is quite big, as you can see, so make sure that your frying pan is quite big so you got space to steer. Okay, so right now, let it fry for like three, five minutes together. So now, we're all that fried for around five minutes together. I'm gonna show you what it's look like. Just like this. We gonna add tomatoes and our spices, which is salt, pepper, black pepper, and the paprika. I'm going to mix all this together, cover it, and let it sh shimmer, simmer for like, cook together 15 to 20 minutes. Yeah. So now I'm going to cover it and leave it for 15, 20 minutes. So the 15 minutes gone and let me see what my lecho look like. Nice, full of meat, very healthy, very tasty. Uh, if you think you got too much juice inside, you can always take the pot off and let it fry for another Three five minutes to reduce the uh, reduce the um, uh, extra liquid, so it will be more thicker. But because I'm gonna serve it with the cauliflower rice, I don't want it to be too dry. I want it to be nice and juicy. So I'm gonna leave my lecho just like it is right now. Uh, let me know if you try the recipe. If you like the recipe, obviously that's the recipe for the stage first fit six program. Um, yeah, serve it whatever you like with rice, pasta, bread, or eat it on your own, on its own. Uh, I'm gonna make the cauliflower rice. I don't know if you know it, but it's amazing, and I think that is uh, my next recipe, my next video that I'm gonna show you guys. So. Thank you very much and let me know what do you think.